Hi, my name is Annabel Fleck, and today I am going to present to you on a predictive model to explore the complex interactions between uh, the physical properties known to impact mesh nebulisation performance. So in using the models as a portal to the body, uh, there are a multitude of benefits, especially for the treatment of lung-related conditions. One method of delivering liquid formulations is via vibratory mesh nebulizers, which are becoming more common in the local delivery of drug compounds to the deeper lung. And when discussing nebulization performance, one of the critical quality attributes is nebulization rate or output rate, which when minimized has been shown to improve patient compliance and, and quality of life. However, output rate is also considered to be highly dependent on the formulation physical chemical properties resulting in a variation in performance that's hard to predict, and hence hard to categorically suggest what formulation modifications could be undertaken to improve output rate. So part of this difficulty is in assessing how the physical chemical properties of the fluid formulation directly impact the output rate. And current research suggests three physical properties, so viscosity, iron concentration, and surface tension to some extent, as key influences of the output rate itself. Broadly, these, uh, this research focuses on each property independently and illustrates general trends. Increasing viscosity decreases output rate, a presence of ions greatly improves output rate, and surface tension does have some effect, although currently it's, it's not quantifiable. So due to the complexity of fluid systems and the difficulty of independently altering one property whilst holding the others constant, the interactions between these fluid properties have not been comprehensively assessed. The impact of this becomes more apparent when we try to compare the literature data. Uh, and one of the most prominent differences we saw was for viscosity where the maximum viscosity for successful nebulization was reported uh, in one paper near 2 millipascal seconds and another uh, paper um, around 2.7 millipascal seconds. So although the formulations used differed in their makeup, the surface tension for each experiment was also markedly different, which led us to ask whether the three physical chemical properties could actually have some predictive power over the output rate of a formulation. So it seemed that the approach of individually assessing each property was generating a lot of simplicity um, that did not align with such the uh, complex system. And so we looked for methods that could incorporate uh, the poten uh, potential synergistic and antagonistic effects present between the properties above and beyond predicted by simply the sum of the properties. And, and if we could achieve this, this would give us a new baseline to work with in terms of predicting um, output rate. So to achieve this, we set about building a model that could mathematically uh, incorporate and represent these intra-property relationships. So we used a design of experiment approach, uh, specifically a mixed design. We selected three components plus a, an aqueous matrix that could be used in small proportions for our sort of generic formulation uh, modifications. And we generated a selection of generic formulations, we called them containing all the same components and the matrix, but in a variety of, of proportions. When we analysed these results, we were then able to parameterize those proportions of components into the observed physical properties. Uh, and that also included that synergistic and antagonistic effect between those properties that I was discussing earlier. To evaluate our new ability to generate generic formulations with whatever uh, physical chemical properties that we wanted, we selected three active formulations, so three formulations containing an active drug compound, uh, having a range of physical properties themselves, and we attempted to mimic those properties using the function that we discussed on the previous slide. So looking at the table here, uh, this shows that the generic formulations have demonstrated a uh, fantastic ability to match the properties of their active um, counterparts. And it also allows us to suggest that the active and generic formulations should produce a comparable output rate when, when nebulized. And we expected notable uh, sort of differences to arise 
uh, in the case of the um, MPS formulation and the PBF formulation, uh, both of which are particularly large uh, active drugs and uh, were likely to set, exhibit a uh, more complex rheological effect that we have not sort of incorporated into the model at this time. However, when we take a look at the results, we can see that the formulation pairs for MPS and PBF showed comparable performance to their generic formulations. But this large difference between the small molecule formulation pairs really caught our eye and prompted a discussion regarding whether, we'd, um, whether we needed to include any, any further physical properties into our model uh, that, that could then account for such a large deviation from the predicted value. So one is to question the, uh, the surface properties of the small molecule and whether measuring the surface tension at the fluid air interface should give any indication as to output rate performance. Uh, instead, we uh, would like to suggest that surface energy at the liquid mesh interface potentially could be more instructive for, uh, for these systems. And an exploration into this area could provide some really interesting results uh, and a very simple method for our model improvement, as well as adding another tool to, um, to our conversations around formulation development and nebulization. So another question is uh, that our sort of the research raised is whether we should be exercising caution or how much caution we should be exercising when uh, using the success of one formulation to influence formulation development for uh, another, regardless of the similarity in physical properties, purely because of this multifaceted complexity within these systems. And we hope that the model that we've developed uh, will be able to identify and help guide uh, those conversations for modifications uh, needed for output optimization in the future. So to conclude, um, we, we've shown that formulations can be mapped uh, to their physical properties um, quickly uh, and easily for the assessment of specifically output rate, but um, we'd like to suggest that the, this model could be extended to a variety of uh, nebulization performance sort of attributes. Um, and it also indicates how formulations with different components should be compared with caution, especially in the formulation development uh, where modifications for purposes of stability or solubility can drastically alter nebulization performance regardless of those similarities between those properties. So the next steps for model development um, and, and output rate assessments is to identify uh, properties uh, such as potentially interfacial tension um, between formulation and mesh interface that may provide a better characteristic of output rate or a better characteristic of the um, sort of the fluid interactions that uh, that we're trying to generalize here. Um, but also a, an alteration of this model that potentially encompassed a, a different range of excipients, um, maybe notably in the surfactant. So we used an organic um, solvent as the surfactant in this particular system. Um, that may allow for increased efficiency in formulation development for more complex formulations um, for nebulization. So thank you very much for, uh, for listening um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.